Everybody, it's Lee with Oregon Arboriculture. I wanted to stop and talk to you guys about something pretty cool. A lot of times, you'll get a buildup of debris, usually from having an unsharpened chain because you're making such powdery cuts, it gets clogging into everything. Eventually, it'll clog these ports where your oil comes into your bar and it'll drastically reduce the life of your bar. So you wanna make sure you're checking that from time to time. If you don't pull your chain out, if you don't see like a shininess, so you can see there's some oil there, then if it gets dry or it gets a different color, then you know that you have a problem. But anyway, I just noticed that was the problem with my saw. And a tip that I use all the time that I don't think a lot of people know about is they don't have a lot of tools for this that I've ever seen. But if you find the right gauge wire, just by putting it into your bar, if you find the right gauge wire, you can make a really cool cleaning tool because it's flat at the bottom. So a flat, a flat wire, the right gauge, and I don't know what gauge this is. I'm sure it would be easy to look up, but I don't have the time because I'm working. But anyway, this wire fits. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna drag it through, cleaning out all that debris from the last six months that we're using this saw. I think that's the last time I cleaned the bar. But if you're keeping your saw really sharp, you're gonna have a lot less issues with this. But here it is, I just got it turned at an angle, so that way I can go against it. And once you clean down to your ports, that's where you just poke your tool inside your port and then clean past it a few times. And you got a nice clean port. I'm gonna do it on both sides. Only one side's being used at a time. And now, when I put the saw back together, if you're curious, I think this is a, uh, just a 395, I don't remember. 395 Husky is what I think it is. This is a 36 inch uh, Husky Bunner bar. This is supposed to be the best they have. And you'll notice I have some wear right here. It's starting to wear quite a bit on the underside. And that's really common. Uh, when you're doing your cuts, it's going to start wearing a little bit. So I'm going to flip it over, and now this is going to be my top side. So, yeah, the words don't match up, but does it matter? No, not at all. So I'll get that in there. So if any of you guys run into anything like this where you find a way that's really helpful when you're using your saw, let us know about it. You got something cool, you want to pin a comment or you know a video of your own. We'd love to see it. That's always kind of cool. We line up the base first. But anyway, check it out next time. Thanks a lot for watching.